hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to show you how we can debug php code uh, using x debug with uh, sublime text 3 so i have already written a blog regarding this but uh, you might want to read all of these things and follow the steps basically there are only four steps you need to follow but if uh, I show you in the video that might be uh, easier to execute so let's jump into that so first of all we will need sublime text 3 so let me open sublime text so this is and let me open new one let me close this okay, so here uh, I am going to debug my WordPress site so let's add the WordPress into the sublime so here is the root of the WordPress make sure you add your projects root folder over here and now let's start uh, with step one so in the step one uh, we will need to add these lines into the php ini so currently i am using mamp and uh, let me check what version of php i am using so it's 7412 so for mamp i will go into the application mamp bin similarly if you are using a uh, different os then maybe folder will be same like if you are using vamp uh, so in the vamp you will have bin folder i'm not sure but yeah locate your related php ini file uh, my version is 7.4.12 so i will open 7.4.12 php ini okay uh, before adding the code let me open php info over here so in the php info uh, try search x debug so if it's already installed then you will have some result regarding x debug so currently i don't have installed x debug so i don't see anything x debug anything related to x debug here so uh now let's copy this line open this is our php ini i will go to bottom of the pit and i will paste these lines okay so now it's done now after adding this uh, restart your server so i will restart this map so server has been stopped uh, wait for five to six seconds and start again so now our server has been started now I will go over here again and I will refresh this PHP INI. And now I will search xdebug. Okay, still not there. Oh, okay, sorry so once uh, uh, this x debug line in your php ini will be commented you need to do you need to uncomment this as well and again i will need to restart the server sorry my bad okay now again let's refresh this open php info 
and yeah uh, we are getting some X debug uh, thing in PHP INI sorry in PHP info so yeah we will have a whole separate section related to X debug so once it started displaying in PHP info that means X debug has been installed on, on your PHP INI okay so step one is done now step two so in the step two we need to install X debug client for sublime so similarly uh, other editor might have same client but I'm not sure I will soon add another video with some different editor or uh, IDE but uh, let me show you uh, this uh, with uh, sublime 3 and this should work on sublime 2 as well I'm not sure okay so step 2 install X debug client from package control so I will open sorry I'll I'll close this and I will open my project so on the project I will press control uh, sorry command shift P after command shift P or in the windows control shift P you will see the text box like this so write down install package here and click on the install package it will process some thing and after that it will suggest the same text box again so write down x debug client yeah x debug client for 2 and 3 so it will work on 2 as well install this wait for the process it says x debug uh, client has been installed successfully so after installing the uh, X debug client now we need to save this project so uh, go to projects save project as and make sure you save the project on this projects root so I will go to docs wordpress and give the name of your project whatever it is so as you can see this file has been added open this file so by default uh, this thing you will see in the file now we will need to add some lines again in that file so these are the lines and for the demo I have share the screenshot as well so I will paste this over here and I will format this make sure uh, you add comma over here otherwise it won't work and uh, save this file so now this file has been saved okay after, uh, after saving the file change uh, this URL with your local host sites URL this is my local host sites URL uh, I don't need to change this but you might need to change this this is my local host WordPress site after doing that uh, just go to tools X debug and click on start debugging uh, launch browser so it will it will open the site in the browser ever with this query string so if you are able to see this query string that means your X debug is working fine with sublime okay let's go back to this tutorial now it's time to add a breakpoint so once we add a breakpoint then oh, okay 
after after that you will start see this kind of uh, sub screen in the subline now you need to add a breakpoint so I will use I will open one of my PHP file sorry not here and I will add a breakpoint at some point so I will add the breakpoint here at line so uh, you need to decide at which line you need to you want to debug for example I want to debug this array that's why I am I am adding a breakpoint over here so right click at particular line and uh, go to X debug and click on this add remove breakpoint so after adding the breakpoint it will st uh, a dot will be appearing at particular line that means breakpoint has been added and uh, now you need to go to that page where this code is executed so uh, I will okay no, not this one. here make sure you you work on that screen only where the X debug session has been started so uh, this the code uh, where I have added the breakpoint works on this page so if I click on this page uh, that code uh, that breakpoint has been added so when the breakpoint is has been added at that time the page will be loaded until you uh, you debug your thing so this will keep loading until you don't uh, process something else let me show you so once uh, you refresh this it will keep loading and loading open the sublime and as you can see uh, you will see some other constant as well but la at last you will have a debug debugging thing of your variable this is the variable I have added breakpoint and it has printed what I am getting in this array so this will keep loading so if you want to execute one more uh, as of now I have added only one breakpoint you can keep adding as much as you want so once uh, you you are done checking with this right click X debug and click on run so once you click on run it will go to the next breakpoint and if it doesn't have any other breakpoint then it will the page will execute successfully so yeah this is how you can use X debug with uh, sublime text 3 um, and yeah that's it uh, thanks for watching the videos if you don't if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section